uh, open open window. Uh, Wait. What? Jude's worried about something. I mean. Oh, hello. I guess just that Mila's window, window was open. open. That means Mila's awake. He had a super yeah. weird smile. Okay. Uh. What's wrong? Oh yeah, I remember this. There's something I should tell you. If it's that she's a lord of spirits, I already knew that. It can't be. Wait, is Mila dead? Mila! Uh, okay. Your legs. Oh, her legs are broken. Yes. Yep. No tingling, no pain, no. She's anything. paralyzed. <sighs> yep. Oh, well, that's unexpected. Wow, as if she hadn't been through enough. Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I have rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? That's all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. <sighs> Real strength is walking with two broken legs. I mean, I commend her bravery and her strength and her conviction, but... What, what are the actual mechanics of her going on with the mission, though? We need a plan. Exactly. She just wants to go in and do her job, but she doesn't really have the, uh... She doesn't really have the wisdom to know how to go about it. Yeah. Because, like, strength and conviction is one thing, but she goes in trying, like, swords blazing the way she is, she's gonna get herself killed. It's just that... She's not used to mortal ago, restrictions like this, though. That's true, that is true. Lost the use of his legs. Hello. Really? Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown, La Ronde. Oh, this is neat. That sounds like a neat detour. What changed? <clears throat> you were so determined to hold me back yesterday. I was... I don't know why. I'm not sure what changed. Huh. If you say so. <laughs> I just know there's nothing I can do to stop you. Even if you can't walk, you'll just crawl away and get into trouble. <laughs> you really are a do-gooder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in your hands. Right. We can reach Laurent by boat, so let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven. Okay, so this is an orc I wasn't expecting. Yep, we're gonna be traveling to uh, Laurent. My gratitude. Oh, she gets a horse. Cool. I mean, how else is she gonna travel? Please take the utmost caution on your I was thinking by wheelchair or carriage sorry, or something. Cannot accompany you. No need to apologize. It would actually be really difficult to ride a horse with broken legs. You need some kind of harness, maybe. You would need some kind of special yes. saddle to like really to like hatch you into place. Are we leaving Elise yeah. behind too? Take care, okay. You don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. I know, but still. Looks like she's warmed up to the idea. Wow, I guess we're just back to the... Yeah, we're, we're back, we're back to, the... to Mila and, and Jude, except Mila can't fight right now. Yeah, the terrific <laughs> too. Moving. 
everyone. You've been a great help. And I Alvin's no longer you. around. But we have a horse. It's time to hit the road. Thanks, all of you. I thought Alvin was gonna come by and say goodbye. He, he disappeared. Might still, he might still be. We'll see. Super pals, don't split up. We stay together forever. I hope we get to see them soon. I mean, it makes sense, though, that, like... We're really continuing on. Um, Rowan would still have so affairs good. to deal with here. He can't just go out and adventure with us all the time. Yeah. Speaking of which, there was, a. Uh... There was, a uh, Alvin, so... Yeah, he knows more than he lets on. So, as of right now, it's just you, man. Uh, Jude's the only one on in the party right now. Mila can't fight. So I have to do this without you? I'm eager to see what your hometown is like. It's just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mining colony, though. Since you're human, <clears throat> you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm... My parents tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Ah, so yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? Exactly what sort of books are you reading? Huh. Now, remember back at the beginning, the first episode, where I really feel for this guy? Yeah. This might be one of the main reasons why. Because I'm, I am really excited to meet his family because he's mentioned them a couple times. Yes. Um, and it's always been, like, a little bit foreboding. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah, like, notice he's never really talked about them until now. But, but like, he's brought them up, but, like, hasn't wanted to expound on it. Exactly. What, what I'm a little more concerned about right now is... We can, fa we can fast travel to Sapstrat Sea Haven, you know? Yeah. Um, Mila... Oh, come on, B. <laughs> Mila knows what an Oedipix complex is. Does she really, though? No, that that implies that the story of Oedipus happened in this universe. How do we have ancient Greek mythology here? That is actually an excellent question. Did, is there a Sophocles in this world who wrote Oedipus Rex? Did, Maybe Oedipus Rex is... Um... Is there just another story called Oedipus Rex, and an Oedipus Complex actually has a completely different meaning? Or did somebody else just happen to write the same story? Which, in Greek mythology, supposedly did really happen. Sophocles didn't make up the story, he just wrote a play about what was accepted to be real events. So, what I'm wondering is, where is Greece on the world map in Zillia? Uh, I don't know. Are, are, are we going to Thebes? No, I have no idea. You are now. You're. Is Creon oh. still on the throne, oh. or are are we moving right over to like Ateocles? Oh God, my head hurts. Can we fast travel? Yeah. How do we do that again? Um. No. Nope, stay away. Stay away. Or no, no, no. Uh. <laughs> you lied to me. Okay. Fast forward through this. R3. R R3. Wait, no. Or L3? Um, yeah, I thought it was just select. N n no. Square? No. Yeah. No, not that. Um, but I can never figure out what to do when I'm trying there to There it is. It. Okay. Okay, so, so Sapstrap Sea Haven. Haven. Come on. You pressed the uh, circle button again, didn't you? Yeah. We need to... Wait, it's not letting me. It's not letting me fast travel, dude. Um, try exiting the area. Well, well, it dropped me on this map for a reason. I think it wants me to actually walk the path. Do we really... Maybe because there's a cutscene along the way? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, looks like we're helping it. <clears throat> okay. It's well, not bad. Like, let's just avoid enemy encounters for the time being. I mean, yeah, it's not I mean, like... do we really need to get Jude all this experience? Speaking of which... I hope Elise doesn't get too lonely. She has Rowan and Drissel with her. You don't need to worry. I wonder what Alvin's next job is gonna be. I hope it isn't anything too dangerous. He wouldn't last long as a mercenary if he turned down dangerous work. <laughs> you really are a worrier, aren't you? It's not that. I just wish we could have all stayed together. This was inevitable. We all have different duties. Cheer up. We'll see them all again. 
Yeah. Aw. That feeling when you have a good campaign going, but players have to leave the party. <laughs> uh, that that situation when all D&D &D members uh, aren't present because they have other <laughs> things to do. <laughs> We're a little familiar with that one. It's a, it's a hard fact of life and tabletop gaming. So yeah, we were right. We have to hope it because yeah. our cutscene's happening. <laughs> we actually are hoping it because we have a horse. Ha ha. How did you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's How do you true. burn water? Everybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. <laughs> so you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? Well, in my current state. I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. I can't imagine what it's like not being able to use your legs. Don't, don't worry. I'll do that stuff for you from now on. Okay, we got some blush going there. <laughs> got a little bit of blushing going on. <laughs> he kind of he kind of looks forward to the idea of taking care of Mila. I think. I, that's what I'm getting from this. I mean, and he's... He's he's apt for the job. He's a doctor. Hey. Well, he doesn't have his doctorate, I guess, but he's he was on the road to being a doctor. He knows how to be. Oh. Okay, so after I said all that stuff about I don't think there's a romantic connection... Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. <laughs> Man, what do you do when a girl gives you a necklace? Do I make a move? Is that a signal? I mean, like... I, th I think it would be. I mean, okay. If a girl gives you a necklace like that, but as a present, like, for an occasion, maybe not. But just out of the blue like that, when you're sitting by a campfire in the middle of rain... N nothing in this is out of the blue. Glad to hear it. Though that was definitely a romantic situation, complete with horse and saddle. There you go. Hello. But, like, Mila isn't just out of his league. Like, she's literally out of his realm of existence. <laughs> like, she is on a different plane. Uh. Oh, jeez. Wh what? A oh, horse. Oh, do I have to fight this thing by myself? Yep. Good luck. Okay, fine. It's one. It's a boar. Okay, it, it looked bigger outside of the combat. Oh yeah, it's weak. Nope. There you go. For you, Mila, I would punch a hundred boars. Right in the face. <laughs> My hero. Mila! You okay? You're gonna have to carry her. Sure, I'm fine. But now what? Shouldn't have killed the boar. Could have ridden that. I don't know if that was a good idea. H hey. Yep. And I okay. will always love you. <laughs> God damn it, how I, could you do this to me? I can't think of that song without thinking about that either. I don't think anyone can. What? Hey, I thought I was carrying Mila. What? Let, let's just go with it. Just Excuse go with me, it. no. Would you Would you rather? Breaking immersion Mila here. really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. The battle was called the Priscilla Miracle, and it helped create the Roshigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man, but I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. And how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> it's not a competition, Mila. Are your legs okay? 
If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, he, he's been with Mila since the beginning, so he's probably he's probably <laughs> gotten past the whole yeah, uh, that shock's worn off. The, sh the shock factor of Mila, and is still trying to go through the shock factor of figuring out that Rowan was the conductor. Very odd. When you carry me on your back like this, I can't help but remember flying with Syl. Well, there you go. If they told us though that there is a person in history called the conductor, it would have been really obvious that it was Rowan. <laughs> Maybe. All right, Sapsrath Sea Haven. Here we are. So, let me go check on the man. Ship's schedule. I'll be right back. She's got to have some serious biceps hidden under those sleeves. He's a martial artist. I'm pretty sure he's like. I'm pretty sure he's like strong enough to be able to carry a person. Yeah, I know. He's he's stringy, but he's strong. Hello. Yes. Oh God. I yes. Know. When I saw your face on the wanted post, Absolutely yes. I, I just had to find you right away. But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? I begged the villagers to let me come to your aid. They were very understanding. You imbecile. That's not the point. Don't you realize Ugh. Lady Mila, are you okay? Oh. Ivor's gonna love this. Yeah. Your your legs. There you go, I there you go, Ivor, really? now's your chance. You tell me what you've done to her. I know it's not gonna happen, but this would be a really great Stay time to have him join either. the party. This wasn't Jude's fault. I know it's not gonna happen I now. This upon myself. But you wouldn't be in this predicament if I'd been by your side. Listen here, Pip Squeak. Handmaids are made, not appointed. One must dedicate his life to serving and protecting Lady Mila. It is an esteemed position for real men. Oh god. Manly men. This guy's got she such a superiority complex. But clearly it was a mistake to let an uncouth, unreliable, underhanded stranger like you serve her holy person. Now, come with me, Lady Mila. Wait! My father might be able to heal her legs. If what you say is true. Are we gonna I fight him? will be the one to take her to see him. I've had you pegged as a phony from the moment I laid eyes on you. Now know your place and be gone. I mean, we you could both her escort her there. I'm coming too. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Ivor, stop this nonsense. Please, Lady Mila, stay where you are. You will thank me for this later. Oh, this is happening. Have fun! This is happening! Ladies and gentlemen, we are fighting Ivor. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, okay. Okay, may maybe this wasn't such a good thing to have happen. You have a guard, Wait, dude. Face the other way. I was pressing guard that whole time, dude. Oh, gosh. He, he just doesn't care. Okay. Let let's item up, and then we're gonna deal with this, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's go. There you go. This is almost feeling like it's supposed to lose fight. Um, no, he he's losing health though. No, he is losing health. Yeah. Okay. What? What is even going on right now? Because my guard is like just not working. Okay. There we there go. You go. Okay, now we got something going. <laughs> wow. He he. There you go. Down on oh, the ground. The, oh, oh, the, the swallow dance dances. combo. Dude, you did so much damage. That's right. Oh, I did. get it. Get an item in. Get an item in okay. now. What's the best lemon, 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 lemon? Okay, thank you for giving me a chance to use that. What, what it? What are these I don't stacks think it, you're putting on? Me I don't here? think you can use a. Uh, I don't think you can use a. Uh, uh, arts. Okay. Oh man, you're close. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm just gonna hold back a little bit. Uh yeah, use an apple gel or a lemon gel, whichever one works. Yeah, we're we're not fooling around here. I will. I'm alone. Excuse me. How are you? Oh, goodness gracious, this guy. Oh. There we there go. There you go. Wait. I am Bay. You are not Bay. Jude, will you please face the right way? <laughs> Shoot. Well. Not facing the right way. Retry that. Well, it lets me retry the battle. That's really nice of them. 
Um, all right, yeah, it lets you re equip that's stuff if you really, need to. That's really considerate. I think though. that was, I think that was your first death. That that was. Okay. Jesus, Ivor's mad. Dude, you can both come. You, you, you can you can join us on the trip. No, if I can't have her, neither can you. I mean, not that not that Ivor would know this because he never paid attention to it, but but um, Jude's definitely given up his life for Mila too. I mean, he gave up all of his future prospects at the university. The problem is that uh, okay. The problem here is that Ivor has abilities that put him behind you. Yeah, guarding isn't doing me much good. Also, like, is he saying Azure Edge? I wouldn't use the Y'all Divide. Oh, shoot. Wrong. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. No, 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 no! Oh, my God. Dude. Okay. Okay, so I'm not a very good duelist. Swallow dance. There swallow you go. Okay, that with was... With the swallow dances. That was rough around the edges, but we got it. With the swallow dances. Whew. Rough around the edges is the perfect... Perfect term for that. I like how they kind of have the same... Main battle stance, too. Just his is with swords. I just want to help Mila. How many times do I have to tell you? That's my job! Mila. I don't have time for this. You two can duke it out as much as you want. I'm leaving. Stop measuring your manhoods or I'm crawling there. I'm sorry. If you still aren't satisfied, I'll fight you again later. Right now we need to get moving. <laughs> Ivor, I have something very important to give you. It's crucial that no one else gets their hands on it. Oh, that's the uh, key to the lands of Kresnik. As precious as my life, the lives of the four are counting on it. And you're entrusting it to me? I shall defend it to my last breath, Lady Mila. I knew I can count on my handmaid. Now, return to Nia Kara. What? <laughs> but I want to be with you. To protect Nia Kara. But Lady Mila. My place is with you! Don't make me repeat myself. Her eye twitched a little bit there. Ooh. Hurry up and take her. But don't forget who's the real handmaid. This guy! Uh, sure thing. And I promise, I won't rest until Mila walks again. You got that right! Okay, I really want to rematch with you sometime when I have my own- my whole party. <laughs> I know that sounds like really cowardly, but like... You can you can be completely over leveled if you want. Just I don't like fighting without somebody to constantly heal me. It's actually kind of interesting how like duels are treated here. <clears throat> In that case, oh man, there's one thing that happens later, and I I don't know whether you want to do it or you want me to take a crack at it. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. This is this. Like this is the first duel we've had in this uh, in this game, but it's not going to be the last. Not going to be the last. Nope. We're going to see Ivor and Ivor again, among other things. Doesn't Jude have an old friend that he mentioned before? Oh. Faster, faster! Let's burn rubber! Go, go! Huh? Wheelchair racers? No. You were talking about that uh, childhood friend. Oh. Oh, hey, that girl looks just like the pinkists from Sherilton. Wow, that's... <laughs> that was three skips. Look at that smile! Yeah, they know each other. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry for the close call. Are you okay? Hey, moron. Hey, Leia. I'm home now. Leia. What the? Jude? Huh? Jude? What are you doing here? I'm home. 
And what are you doing here? <laughs> Wheelchair yeah, racing, I duh. Just, these kids wanted to have a race, you see, and well, um, and this little guy here is a real speed demon, so I had him push me in the wheelchair to keep things fair. And let me guess, you just had to be the winner, huh? Oh yeah, never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. That's a good start. Hello, Mila. <laughs> <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor. Stat, this woman needs help. Right. Roger. Well, how serendipitous that we just happen to have a wheelchair here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, meet Leia. And uh, we don't have her in the party just yet, I don't think. Okay, so that is our last party member, if I'm correct. As a matter of fact, she is. Okay, well, maybe we'll get to see her a little bit more next time. But until then, uh, this has been the Comic Foil. This has been the Green Scorpion. And um, yeah, wheelchairs and one-on-one -on -one duels. You know, it's not a fair one-on-one -on -one duel, though, because he had swords. So... I mean, hey, like... Really, the odds were stacked against me. And and then again, but then again, like, you... Leia? Talk uh, later, let's hurry to the clinic. Ah, we gotta hurry to the clinic. Alright then, let's, let's just go ahead. We'll see you guys later. Stun spamming piece of crap, man. <laughs> Garbage around here. Wasn't fair, man.